رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما Is there a minimum and a maximum hours that one has to fast on a day in Ramadan? I began fasting while traveling from a country A and within six or seven hours, I landed in country B where it was already Maghrib. What should I do? You, as an individual, are accountable in front of Allah for your own sunrise, that is break of dawn and sunset. Regardless of anyone else, regardless of your country or the country you're traveling to. So this means that I, as an individual, my prayer time depends on the position of the sun at the moment. If I'm traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, I'm going westbound, which means that the sun would not move almost. I travel, take off at 12.30 noon, I reach at two o'clock noon. I did not pray any prayer. When I reach Jeddah, I pray Dhuhr, for Raqqa. But if the opposite takes place, if I travel from Jeddah to Kuala Lumpur, I'm going east, which means that I am racing with the sun. So I, I, I take off at four o'clock a.m. Half an hour later, it's the break of dawn. I can see it from the airplane window. I pray Fajr on the plane, though they did not pray it in Jeddah where I took off. After a few hours, I pray Dhuhr and Asr. And I reach Kuala Lumpur at 5 p.m. So my prayer is dependent on the position of the sun where I am. So by this, if I take off at 7 o'clock a.m. in Saudi Arabia, I'm fasting. Seven or six hours later, I see the sun set setting, though I'm flying. Still in Jeddah, they're still fasting. In this case, yes, I break my fast because I saw the sun sets. Not waiting for people of Saudi Arabia or people of this country or that country. It depends where I am and the sun is. Now, regarding the minimum or the maximum, there is no minimum or maximum. If I'm going eastbound, yes, I may fast for five, six hours. But if I, I'm traveling westbound, it may take me 20 hours to complete the day because I have to fast according to the position of the sun. <laughs>